that Salford is a Broadway musical. <laughs> I've never noticed it before, but Salford is a Broadway musical. Enter stage right, tracksuit wearing troubadours, tinny mobile phone speakers, soundtrack, a grand performance. The precinct is a cast of dozens, Gene Kelly in their way through puddles, past pensioners monologue in the old days. Students dance with umbrellas. Parents pirouette with prams and child actors cry on command, passing a toy shop window. They're all often upstaged by scene, stealing villains, it's a shame, because they're just a bit part. And Salford is a Broadway musical. You might not believe me, but Salford is a Broadway musical. The cast didn't go to RADA. The sets, low budget. The audience don't clap politely like sea lions begging for fish. They're rocky, horror rowdy. And the worst reviews come from those who ain't even been at a show. Thank you. I am Gene Kelly in my way, Jerry. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do two from me book, what I do with Dave Viney there and Benny who's not here today. It's over on the flapjack desk over there with Brink. Go by, cause I'm poor. But uh, yes, at least two very quick ones. We've had an election recently, European elections, and um, this is about how I feel about politics in general, because at the minute, in the general election next year, I've got a saviour, because it used to be Muppet. Posh Muppet, rich posh Muppet, racist Muppet, posh rich racist Muppet, the Green Party. But now I've got Bess. Everybody, I have Bess standing for me in Salford, so that might be where I go next year. I don't know. Maybe not. But yes, this is how I feel about politicians now. It's called Careers Advisor in Whitehall. Congratulations, Junior Minister. You got yourself elected. Now to get respected, you've got to get yourself connected. Get yourself into gear. Politics ain't a vocation, it's become a career, so told the party line don't rock the boat and you'll be fine and when I ask for a favour you don't say no your only function is to maintain the status quo I don't need an idealist throwing in a wrench you got a conscience you'll be rotting on the back bench because my sway goes all the way they're 10% the old 90% of the wealth so forget about the people look after yourself and when your time in office is through there'll be directorships and book deals waiting for you all that we ask is you take care of the proles, give them something to fear, keep them under control, give them a war on terror and a war on drugs and the people who believe you lose the war on mugs because the only war we're waging is an economic war where the have-nots keep not having so the haves keep getting more. And just you think long and hard about which side you're fighting for.